Alright guys, so it is 10 o'clock on a Wednesday night. Do you know where I am? Target. So, my husband works crazy hours all the time. So the only time that I can get stuff done is after he gets home or on our weekends. But our weekends are so filled with like going to see Santa and going to like the ice cream village and having family time and going to look at lights that I really don't want to cram any more into that than I have to. So I am doing my last minute stocking stuffers right now. Oh my god, that's the cutest thing ever. So I met my friend for a few minutes. She was doing some stocking stuff for her stuff too. And she's done. So I'm going to finish up here. But I'll go through everything that I show you that you guys get. I'm hitting up the... Um, you guys, how cute is this? This is adorable and I love it. I don't know if I love it for $10. But it's way cute. So I'm going to hit up the... Um, that wall of stocking stuffers and see if it's decent. I've heard it's kind of crap, so we shall see. Okay, mm. so I think I'm gonna get this one for Charlotte because it has like a little tiara and their little like rainbow hair. But then I found a unicorn horn for Elizabeth. So I think that's gonna make their day. So, yay! Seven at night, and I just got back from Target. So, I mentioned earlier in a video before that like, I don't wanna go into another department store if my life depended on it. Like, I can't make myself physically go. But, it's 10 o'clock at night and my husband just got home from work and I figured I might as well go now and get it done and then I'm done for the whole season and I can just relax and enjoy my time with my family for the next two weeks when my daughter has school off. I don't have to worry about getting stocking stuffers. I don't have to worry about getting candy. I don't have to worry about anything. I'll just be done mark it all off my list. So that's what I did. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got for my daughter's stocking stuffers and I may have gotten a few little things for myself too. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, all right guys, so first thing first, I got these adorable um, Christmas jammies, matching Christmas jammies for my girls. I actually got these a few weeks ago, but I forgot to show them to you in my What I Got My Girls for Christmas Haul video. So here they are. They're these um, kind of like flannel long sleeve night dresses, and I got one for my four-year-old and one for my two-year-old. Also, I showed you these. They each got a Contigo water bottle. So I was going to have one of these in their stockings. Now, it looks like I got more for Elizabeth than I did for Charlotte, but that's because Elizabeth is so easy to shop for. She's four and she has a personality and she can tell me what she wants and she can tell me what she likes. Where Charlotte's more still in like the sweet toddler phase where she just kind of loves everything. So I got, a, I got a couple small things for her, but I got her one bigger item that costs more than what I got for Elizabeth. Um, so I think she'll like that. So starting with Charlotte. I got these really cute little head. They're like um, like that uh, Barbie hair, uh, rainbow hair bright hair clips. So they like that. And they have a little little crown on that. This is from the Cat and Jack brand. These were $5 um, in the dollar spot. And then I got her one of these water marker um, tablet things. We took these on an airplane recently and the girls both loved them. You just add, you just have a... Um, it's a mess-free marker, and then it just shows up on the paper. The girls absolutely loved these, so I picked up one for Charlotte. I got a little mystery bag, a Disney mystery bag. The girls got some mystery bags from their birthday for the first time, and they really enjoyed them, so we're going to try and see if they, they like these too. And then I got her these really soft, fuzzy fox socks. They're really cute. I'm, I think they're going to be way too big for her, but she loves her sister's fuzzy socks, so I thought it would be cute to get her a pair of her own. And then the last thing I got her was this moose. He's really cute. 
he's um he's a pretty solid toy he was by himself was like eight bucks and he's more of a, um, a soft plush toy so he was the one bigger item that I ended up getting for Charlotte um, that kind of accounted for more of what Elizabeth got so moving on to Elizabeth um, she's really starting to get into chapsticks so I got her these Lip Smacker um, Tinkerbell chapsticks. She's always, every time she sees me in the car putting on my chapsticks, she wants one too. And I'm too afraid to give her one of my good chapsticks because um, I'm afraid she's going to destroy it. So I'm okay with keeping maybe one or two of these in the car and then giving her one and letting her use it under adult supervision. I'm going to put that out there. I also got her a mess-free coloring book. Hers is Elsa and Anna from Frozen. Um, the last plane that we went on, she sat for an hour and a half and just colored this. So these are amazing. I'm hoping these will come in handy. <laughs> she also got a pair of fuzzy socks. She loves her fuzzy socks. Her grandma Amber gets her fuzzy socks all the time. She carries them around. She loves them. So that's going to go to her stocking. She also got a... Um, how do you even say that? Is it Sumi Sumi Sumi? I don't I can't even tell you. But she got one of these little mystery bags from Disney as well. She's also really into that. She also got a Barbie hair clip thing as well, but hers has a unicorn horn. And if you guys have caught on to the fact my daughter is obsessed with unicorns right now. So that's really cute. I really like that. And then the last thing she got was this My Little Pony doodle pad. It comes with stickers and then it has um, different like coloring pads and stuff so you can color like on them and stuff. They're really cute. I thought this would be a really cute little thing to go in her bag. And then Mama needed some gifts too. So let's be honest. Moms kind of get left out of the stocking game. And I read all of these articles about moms who are just so mad that no one ever puts anything in their stockings. And I'm like, Mom, come on. You do all of the shopping yourself. Why did you not slip in anything in yourself? I think that's just like, I think it's just dumb, honestly. I think it's like the mentality of like, you want others to do for you because you do so much for others. But in my mind, if I leave it up to others to do for me, I'm going to get left out because I'm not letting my needs want, my needs know, my needs known. So I picked up myself this beautiful professional nude eyes color palette. I'm actually really excited. I needed a new palette. My Maybelline um, nudes palette palette is almost dead so I needed a new one but it has all of these beautiful colors I'm getting a wicked reflection all these beautiful colors as you can see I'm really excited to kind of play with some more of these looks um and this is really cheap so this is going to go on my stocking I also got myself a really cool pioneer woman um coffee mug for myself so those are two things that are going on my stocking the girls will also have a couple little treats we have some uh it's a family tradition to have um caramel santas in our stockings every year my parents used to do it and so i'm doing it with my kids so that will be in there as well as a couple of little treats for them too but that is it and guys i'm officially done i'm done with christmas shopping i have nothing else for no one else for anyone else i have a party coming up on um, uh, Monday for my mom's group and I already have that gift so I am 100% done I just have to wrap and that's it I'm so relieved and so excited to finally put this behind me and be done with all of this and just now I can enjoy the season without having anything hanging over my head I don't have to go out I don't have to do anything I can go to the Christmas villages I can go to the little you know light displays we can go see Santa all of it's going to be great because now I don't have anything else on my plate to do. And I'm super excited. It's only like the 13th. So I got this done super fast in the year. All right, guys, that's going to be my video for today. I am a hot mess right now. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. I have to be up at 7 a.m. So I am going to go. But thank you so much for coming back and watching. I hope you guys got some ideas for what you want to do for your kids um, and what would be good for you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. We have a lot of new subscribers here, and I'm so excited to have you guys on this journey with us. We'll catch you next time. Bye.